Come on, Bertie. Last trip. Ready for the last trip? Yes. I think so. Sure. We're all packed up. We're on the road. We are taking our camper van day for one last trip. Even though this was once our dream vehicle, we are selling it. Here's why. at one of our favourite campsites here at Dolby Forest so we're going to get set up and start cooking some dinner. Seven years ago we had our hearts set on owning an old style T2 VW camper van but we didn't want any of the problems associated with the older water-cooled vehicles which are prone to breaking down. So we opted for a vehicle that was going to give us all the old-school retro vibes but with the security of having a modern vehicle that wasn't going to break down. We bought this 2013 Combi, it was shipped over from Brazil, it was actually one of the last ones to be made in 2013 and then Danbury converted it in 2014 and we've owned it since then. It's got power steering, a 1.4 VW water-cooled engine so it's pretty cool. You all right up there? Yeah. Setting the roof up. What do we got cooking up? Cowboy stew. I think it's beer time. You can't come camping and not have a beer and this is Guzzler, one of my local favourites. Cheers. It show us how you think the Queen eats. <laughs> what were you doing with your hand? <laughs> Using a claw. <laughs> <laughs> does she make does she make farting noises with a spot with a spork? I'm not even sure she uses a spork. What are your favourite things about the camper van? Well, he looks maybe a bit silly and funny, but also kind. And he's got quite comfy seats, and I like his roof because it goes up. Are there any bad things about Dave? He doesn't have aircon, and he gets really cold. What do you think you'll miss most about our camper? Sometimes people look at him and say a few nice things about him or they're a bit amazed, especially when he has his eyes on. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? You're cleaning your face before you have your interview. <laughs> <laughs> Evie, what do you think the best thing about Dave is? Everything except the breakdowns. <laughs> We've genuinely had the time of our lives in this camper van. We've made some amazing memories. You kind of feel like a celebrity when you're driving around in it because everywhere you go, people wave at you and smile and stare and come over and ask questions. Everyone's got some sort of camper van story. You can eat in it, you can sleep in it, you can stop at beautiful locations and make a cup of tea. So many great things about this camper van. So it is with heavy hearts that we're selling it.
Is that a good thing about the camper van EV? You can play games in it? Yeah. And make a cup of tea. What games do you like to play in it? Disc card. Card games? And you like to make a cup of tea? And make a cup of tea. And play rummy cup. Is it cosy up here? Uh-huh. Ow! My hair. <laughs> night night. Nighty nighty nighty. Morning Bertie. I'm not happy. Um, I realised that uh, there's a part of my AeroPress that I didn't pack, the part that the filter sits in. So I just had a panicky moment because I thought I couldn't have my coffee. My coffee is one of the things I look forward to most when we come camping, but I may have come up with a solution. I'm going to try it. So I'm going to use this handy utensil to put the filter on and uh, hopefully coffee goes in there and um, It'll drain through and make me a coffee, fingers crossed. So I don't know what could go wrong here. Could it, could it burn my hands or not, or <laughs> I don't know. Right, well, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if the AeroPress will, will push it through. Is it working? Is I can it burning hear water. your hand? No, and I can hear water and coffee pushing through. Oh no, there's loads of coffee granules in it. But it tastes all right. Coffee crisis averted. So let me talk about some of the reasons why we're selling our camper van. Some pretty big reasons, actually. One of the best parts about this van is the engine. It's the modern water-cooled engine, so it doesn't break down like air-cooled engines are prone to doing. So that's a good thing. But other than the engine, everything else about this van is not like a modern vehicle, it's like an older vehicle. So a big problem that we've developed over the last few years is rust patches. Unfortunately, we can't keep it in a garage, so it's just outside on the driveway, exposed to the elements all day, every day for seven years. So it has formed rust patches. If you're gonna own one of these vehicles, it either needs a cover, which we do have a cover, but because we've used it as a second vehicle, the cover is just too much of a nuisance to take on and off every single day. So if you're owning one of these, you either need a cover or keep it in a garage. The other big reason is safety. Obviously, when we've got kids in here, it's something in our minds. But when we first got this van, because of the charm of the vehicle, that was pushed more to the back of our minds, which it probably shouldn't have been really. But over the years, it's sort of come more to the front of our minds and there's not a lot of protection in that van. There's no airbags, there's no modern technology to keep you safe inside. If you had an accident, there's pretty much no protection, so I don't think it would end well. And it's got to the point now where after about the five year mark, it was costing a lot each time it went in for service. It's more difficult to source the parts for this because VW don't recognize it as a VW vehicle. Whenever it's gone into the garage and it's needed repairs, it's been in there for about a month waiting for parts to turn up and work to get done. So that is a big downside. The last pretty big reason is that we've run out of space. Our girls have got bigger. So for us all to move around in there, it's just too small. It's not really of much use to us anymore as a functional camper van. So it's one of those really, there are many, many things we love about this van and many reasons we don't want to sell it, but there are even more reasons why we feel it would be best for us to sell this and get something bigger.
darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise you this. If you try to get some sleep, if you give up the fight, if only just. Dave. There's a new day to leave behind your troubles. There's a new day and it will set you free. We've had so much fun in this van. For a while it has been our perfect vehicle, our dream vehicle. It might be the perfect vehicle for you. We just wanted one last hurrah, one last memorable trip to add to all the other memories. It's time for somebody else to become the new proud owners and I hope they get as much pleasure from it as we have. These things are memory makers, we've made ours, now it's time for someone else to make theirs. So long Dave. <laughs>